Yes, there really is no occasion or atmosphere quite like it. Anzac Day Rugby League ahead of the Dragons and the Roosters here at the SCG and the stage now set for what's set to be an enthralling battle this afternoon. Let's head right around the ground with our team to set the scene. First up, over to Joey and Roo. Yeah, just watching uh, the Dragons come onto the field now. The build-up then, Ruan, was incredible. It absolutely was. You can cut the tension down here with a knife, Joey. In the dragon shed prior to this, there was a real steely resolve about them. How do you harness that, though? It's a big game. Starts are always important. How do you harness that and not let it overwhelm you? Well, you've got to control it. I'm just watching them now. That's the big thing, how you control those emotions, especially the big game. The atmosphere down here, Ruan, it's the first time I've been out here for a game like this. The anthems was that loud. But as you said, the tension, you can actually feel the tension and I look around the ground it's 60 70 percent Dragons fans yeah well, it's a Dragons home game and Danica you're over there with Sunny Bill Williams in front of the Roosters camp how does it feel down your end yes it feels exactly the same yeah we're here at the Roosters warm-up and Sunny you've played in a couple of these Anzac Day matches yourself talk us through what's the build-up like we know the Roosters do a lot during the week I disagree with you Joey there's, there's more Rooster supporters here than there are Dragons <laughs> but yes Danica Right now, just like myself, for a lot of these boys, this is the, the best time of the week. All the hard work's been done, and now you get out, get to just go out there and do your thing. The boys got the nice boots on, the deep heat on the legs, the feeling flash, the nice haircuts. But also, the main thing is, without the big stage, there's no glory, and a lot of these boys know that. So, I'm looking forward to a big one. Yes, we all are. Right, let's head over to Brad Fittler. He's at the member stand. That's right, Danica, and this was a place to be pre-game because this is where the two teams came out together and they had to meet each other and walk out before the ceremony. I've got to say the acknowledgement to each other was icy cold. The Dragons winning last week has put a whole new perspective on this game. The coaches' only messages will be play for each other and never give up. And I feel like the team that doesn't give up will be the team that wins the Anzac Day game. James. Thank you, Bradley. You've got us pumped up. We know which side of the fence he's on today, too. The mighty rooster himself there. Freddie is ready to go, and so are we. It's been some build-up, but it is game on at the SCG, and a very good afternoon. Matthew Thompson. Good afternoon, James. Yes, the build-up has been quite something, hasn't it? Very special occasion, and Anzac Day itself continues to grow year on year, despite the interruption because of COVID uh, back in 20. 20. We, we couldn't have the public gatherings. Last year it was limited, but this year the numbers at, at dawn services and marches uh, are back to, to pre-COVID levels, if, if not uh, in excess of what we saw before that. So the reception uh, of the game here today will match that. The Australian and New Zealand national anthems, breathtaking. And all we have left now is the game itself, a game which recently has been dominated by the Roosters. But Phil Gould, as I say, good afternoon to you on your favourite day on the Rugby League calendar. Can the Dragons summon some, some winning spirit here and win back-to-back -back games for the first time since round 16 last year? Well, they certainly can. And you're right, uh, Matt. It's uh, not only my favourite day on the Rugby League calendar, it's my favourite day on the Australian calendar. Such an important day for our country. And the fact that we get to celebrate it with this game every year just puts icing on the cake. And to the families of those that lost their Stay lives on. and who served our country, our greatest thanks. And here we go, mate. Anzac Day 2022 on the home of Rugby League 9 to Wide World of Sports. George Burgess into the starting team. Josh McGuire into the starting team for the Dragons too. Anthony Griffin is unlocking his, uh, his real... Tough men, if you like, from the outset here. Away to Jaden Sua, who's been a standout in Dragons colours in this maiden season with the Red V. They're out near the 30 metre line. Walker part of the tackle. Here goes Jack DeVellin, one of only three Dragons to experience victory on Anzac Day. And now, big Francis Molo, and in came Lindsay Collins. He's a hit man himself. The rougher, the better for him. Ben Hunt. Man of the match for the Dragons last week in the win against Newcastle, and back comes Daniel Tupo. This ground looks in beautiful condition, doesn't it? Lovely dry day, perfect playing surface, big crowd. 
Any player worth his salt would love to be here this afternoon. You see Maguire in there with Burgess and, uh, and also Molo. It's with Crichton now. He's moved back into his usual position in the second row. He's played a bit of front row this year. They've been short on some middlemen at various times, the Roosters. Here goes Talcayaho. You, you would have uh, heard the mention earlier of, of Trent Robertson saying there's been some flu. Not COVID flu, but just general flu in the Roosters camp. A few of them are missed training this week amongst the Maria Hargreaves and Radley, who are coming from the bench today. An early kick for Keary. And an early run for Embi across the ground to take it safely. Had a rough afternoon when he was introduced to fullback three weeks ago, but he's looked more comfortable in that role as the games have passed. And now, Zach Lomax. Four tries in six games against the Roosters, but he's none from six head-to-head -head in matches against them in his career. Rabalawa, 12 metres short of the halfway. Hunt's going to kick from inside 40. Early in the count, but can't get the required angle on it. And Tedesco, the skipper, he's on 98 career tries. Can he bring up 100 at the SCG on Anzac Day? Tupo now. That would be something. But Tedesco double, raise the bat. Now Verrills, nice run. That was a good run. Short of the halfway. Takiaho now to Bellin up there quickly. George Burgess too and Jack Bird. Played to Verrills. He left to Sam Walker. He won the, the Man of the Match award last year in his first Anzac game. The Ashton Collier medal. It's a who's who of Roosters, Dragons, Rugby League. The list of winners of that. Embi takes it nicely. Nothing fancy early, trying to settle into the occasion, one would think. That's a good, good strong defence there on Fino. There's eight Dragons who are experiencing Anzac Day for the first time. Oh, a second tackle kick by Ben Hunt. He's thinking 20-40, and Tedesco had to race back. Well, that shows uh, some temerity, a, a kick on the second from inside the 20. Love it. Brilliantly done. You know, they tackle two and they've still got them inside their 40 and a few of these big rooster forwards have had to turn around. They're getting ready to tackle and they've got to get back and hit the ball up. Something like that can really break the rhythm of the team. I love that play. That's two early kicks back to back by Ben Hunt. Now Butcher. Starting today. Rarely starts these days. Tedesco linking up on the left-hand side with Walker. Hunt with a good tackle. Oh, Lomax was that. Yeah, that was a penalty. It was late, but I think they're saying head slam here. Yeah. Well, it was whether or not the tackle was finished initially, and then he, he picks him up and has another go. That's why his neck gets stuck. Tedesco. Yeah. saying he got his neck in an awkward position. Neck got stuck, so I'm, I'm with pressure, oh, I'm saying. Yeah, me too. Zach! Report. Wow, well, it's on the court. Got him in a really awkward position there. That could have been really dangerous. All right, Brad, it's a, a big afternoon and uh, the pre-game has been quite something. Yeah, well, it's been fantastic down here at ground level, I've got to say. And Gus was talking about the pitch. It is absolutely hard as a rock. And you can see why Ben Hunt's going for those early shots. It's a breeze, a southeaster, so it's really supporting this side of the field. The western side, if you want to kick it to that way, you're going to get a good benefit. And there's a big slope on the field. So if you can nail it, you're a good chance of getting a 20-40 or a 40-20. All right, they've done a bit of homework, the Dragons. Thanks, Brad. Here's Ferrells. And then Butcher played the link. Right, that was forward. I thought it was forward out of the hands. It not called by the referee, Adam G. Five metres out, Tupanua. Right through Verrills. Butcher, Kiri around the back. Then Walker. Here's Manu. He's got five tries in the year for the Roosters. The most for the club. Eight metres short of the line. Maguire and uh, Ben Hunt, the tacklers there. Kiri two passes wide, floats it for Tupanua. Lomax is there. Hunt was there as well, but the ball came over the back. There's a bit of space here for Kiri to work with. Across the face of the defence he goes, linking up then Crichton. 
And out to Marta, that took a hand of pride. I think it'll be a Roosters knock on. He's already knock on off Angus. Yeah, good defence by the Dragons. They threw at them, plenty at them, then the Roosters. And Brad Fittler's 100% right. This ground looks flat on TV, but everything slopes away from the cricket pitch in the middle. And it's quite a significant slope. Very lateral, that set. The Roosters. Well, that's a plan spoken pre-game about the really big pack for the Dragons, whether they're looking to run the pack around, make them chase them. But they went sideline to sideline to side. That match up on the right side, Joseph Manu mm. up against Moses Suli. Well, there's a battle. Yeah. And Moses Suley, he was outstanding down in Wollongong last Sunday. And Jack Bird fires one out for Lomax. Tupanura and, and uh, Daniel Tupo involved in the tackle on that occasion. Now Rabalawa. Oh, he's going to be pushed towards the sideline. His momentum just halted. So the tackle had to stop. Now Bird. Three weeks in a row in the number six. And Embai, they go back down their right-hand side. Well, they saw that Tupo was down fixing his boot. And Embai tried to get down there before he got back into the defensive line. And Ben Hunt's kick is well out on the full. Tupo couldn't get his foot into his boot. Embai saw it, raced down there. Tupo did a quick repair and got back on side to make up the numbers. And then kicking from the sideline. Not a place you want to kick. Especially off a slow play, the ball. Shaking his head, Benny Hunt. He knows he's not happy. So I know you gentlemen have spoken before about how visually deceptive it can be here at the SCG, given that slope. And the teams aren't used to having the sidelines so far in from, from the fence. Did, did that play a factor there in the Hunt kick? No, not, not that one. The longer kicks, you can lose your bearings. That one was just a missed kick. It can be difficult playing on a big oval for your kicking game. Here he now for Siwa Taukeaho breaks through the first tackle. And McCulloch's there to stop him. Here's Kiri off a flat pass down to Nesko. Now Paul Momorowski playing his first Anzac game. He came through the junior rep teams at the Roosters. This would have been what he was dreaming of his whole junior career. Up they go. It's touched back off the Dragons and Moses Embi is trapped. Backwards off Moses. Now, I don't know whether if it's a tactic. Backwards Andrew Johns said that they were very sideways and they were in that sideways in that set again. I don't know whether that's a tactic, but that's not the way to score tries against the Dragons. You don't go round them. You have to go through them. It's a bit of a mirage, the space out wide. Now, whether the Roosters are just trying to drag them that way and lull them into a full sense of security and, and turn it back inside later, we'll wait and see. But right at the moment, that's not effective against the Dragons' defence. Oh, brilliant. Stood on it. Like, uh, Ronaldo put a puncture in it with his studs there. So despite uh, those couple of early kicks by Van Hunt, the Roosters have had all their ball down here at the Dragons end of the ground. 25 metres out and Lindsay Collins is the man tackled by Maguire and Jack DeBellin. Keary's going to work around and link up with Walker. He's got it now and Tedesco into the back line and then Momorowski. Oh, he beats Zach Lomax. They're going to try and get him over here. They, they might do that. Yes, I think they have good defence. And that's not the way. The Dragons will show you space out wide. That's where they want you to hunt. And now they just pick you up and throw you over the sideline. You think you've got them outnumbered. You don't. They all turn sideways and run towards the sideline. Look at the, the Red V jerseys here. They just pick him up and throw him into the members' stand. There's a lot of Dragons fans here looking around the stadium, especially in the Bill O'Reilly stand and the Victor Trumper. All you can see is... Dragons jerseys. A lot of Dragons fans everywhere, Joey. Yeah, but back in the day, the match of the day, every round was played on this game. And because the Dragons were the number one team in the league for a long, long time, it was nearly their, their home ground. They played more here than they did at Jubilee. Brad Fittler. There's a whole host of singing going on down the southern end. I'm gathering that's where all the Dragons fans are. As they get a relieving penalty, Ben Hunt's looking to speed this game up. 
But it's an awesome atmosphere. This ground looks so special down here. Looking around at all the old grandstands, a couple of the new ones. I remember what sitting on a hill watching an Origin game. It's now replaced with a beautiful big grandstand. Jesus is a nice venue. If you're wondering why it's these teams that meet on Anzac Day 2, it was something that was conceived actually between the clubs themselves. They wanted to start a tradition fitting with their respective standings within the game and started in 2002 the modern one but St George and Eastern Suburbs actually played six times on Anzac Day uh, back before this this modern uh, version oh it's a try to St George he's gone straight through the middle of them Francis Molo that's it well no trying to go around the roosters Francis Molo has just found a hole right down the middle Short ball from Ben Hunt. I don't know whether he was looking for a settler. I don't know whether he was looking for six points. But Francis Molo, Isuzu, MUX replay. Bang. Straight inside to Benua. That's an amazing gap right alongside the post. You don't see that from the Roosters too often. Never. Never ever see that. Normally really well organised defensively. He went through with hardly a hand being placed on him. Satili to Benua got spooked with the players coming around the back. And had eyes for them. That was very unrooster like. Francis Molo, first try score on Anzac Day. Let's have a look here. Taukiaho goes in on Ben Hunt and Tupanua. He gets spooked by the players coming around the back. This will show up perfectly. Yeah, there is, there is a theory that Tupanua is suffering from knee injury. He's got some wear and tear there. He's been a great player for a long time. and Maybe his lateral movement isn't what it used to be, but he got caught very flat-footed. And Satelli couldn't assist. And Lindsay Collins tried to come around the back and, and save the day, and it didn't happen. But it's a strong line, and he did it easy. Probably got a shock himself when he ran into fresh air. Well, they've soaked up the pressure at one end and put points on the board at the other. The former North Queensland Cowboy, Francis Molo. He ticked Origin off his bucket list last year and he gets an Anzac Day game in the starting team for the Dragons and he scores the first try. Well done. Lomax, he'll make it 6-0. since the Dragons won their last Anzac Day game. They're off to a brilliant start here. Six points to nil. The Roosters have had 60% of the ball early on, but the Dragons have tagged the first try. And Maguire now with a punishing run. Well, not only 60% of the ball, but virtually in attacking zones. There's drama here for Joseph Manu. Now, he's gone over the top, and he's grabbing into shin. First off, I thought it was, it was a head knock. But I think he's been caught underneath. And I think there was a twist. I think it's more of an impact injury. He's holding that right yeah. shin there. Yeah, sometimes it feels really bad to start with. And then when you realise you're not dying, everything's going to be OK. Just a big contact. Well, Manu's up, I and mean, that's usually the case. You get that sudden jolt Angus. when it happens. Let's have a look. Yeah, his leg got caught underneath there. Up together, Nat. You think it's all over, and then you check yourself, and, and away you go. That was a hard run by Maguire. 
And there's been a couple of follow-ups too. Molo and then DeBellin. And Bird for Sua. Into the middle of the Roosters' defence. Butcher waiting. And also Collins. Ben Hunt goes here. It's close to the sideline again. Lomax missed it. They, oh, Lomax is going to win the race here, is he? No, Tupo just got back. Oh, he didn't knock it out. Revelara's taking it over. <laughs> Unbelievable. Was it not gone off the Roosters before that? No. No, no, no. 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 Roosters knocked it back and then it was going dead. Tupo went to knock it dead. Revelara. Ball will bounce. Oh, Tupo throws it. Revelara tries to get it and throw it back in. But it gets stuck in his hands. Sorry, yes. And he takes it there. You let the ball bounce. <laughs> ah, Verrills, that was clever. That was a high tackle. A couple of times he's run and found space in around the, the markers. The well, he's had to because his forwards are not making much metres at all. This, this dragon side condenses up shoulder to shoulder in defence and they hit hard. They offer you the space to the outside. It's where they want you to go. And if you want to come through the middle, you'll get a shirt full of sore ribs. Absorbing start to this Anzac Day game of 2022. And James Tedesco gets a six more for his team. A wonderful crowd here at the SCG. And Crichton running back strongly. Maguire, he had his first game back last week and he's into the starting team this week. So the coach knows he gives him some early aggression. Oh, that's a high one. Yeah, that was a lazy arm. Nothing more, but a penalty. Well, Jack Bird read it and he was determined to put pressure on young Walker. The ball goes out the back. Jack Bird said, I know who's getting this. And his arm just flips up over the top. And young Walker will be worried about that. But they're back on the attack. So the Dragons had the worst defensive record in the comp heading into this weekend. Shame to resolve on their line so far. Taukiaho goes within six metres of uh, the Dragons line here. Verrills, a ball out now. Kiri, Tedesco, again they go out wide and there's no space there for them. Cut out ball to Tupo. Dragons are over there to stop him. Uh, here's a chance now, Kiri, away to Walker, he got around Suli, he'll score, but we're going to have a look at an obstruction, I'm sure they all pretty much stopped hey. the Dragons defenders. Inside. There was there was a decoy runner, but we're going to get the, the usual checklist out and see if it's all OK hey, or not. Ash. Well, I think they made some bad decisions. Coming up, Tucker 4, got no oh, try. Ridiculous. We're looking at possible obstruction where the ball is caught. It was the pass from Takiaha to Kiri. It was a beautiful pass. Look at the space between Maguire and Ben Hunt. He digs into that line. And look, he Cam catch Walker catches the ball inside Angus Crichton. He continues to run around his own man, which affects Moses Sully's ability to defend. We have a decision. Oh dear. But the way they're officiating, that, that is an obstruction. If we can have a look again from the high angle, when Angus Crichton goes through, just watch Moses Sewell. Keep your eye on Moses Sewell, not on the attacking team. They'll go forward, find a pass, he'll dig in. Moses Sewell will come flying in, but then checks and releases. Guys on his and point. tries to get Sam Walker when he appears late. Oh, oh, they're officiating that way, but... That's a tough one. Oh, Laurie, good run. Oh, <laughs> he got dumped. He got dumped back just as hard as his run. Develop with an offload. Laurie with it again. But it should be a wake up call to the Roosters that that's where they need to attack. Coming back at the post. Some shorter passes and running better lines. Not trying to go around them. He's had a good start, hasn't he? Frank Molo. The villain. And Hunt with a dummy now, and a set piece out the back to him. Why, it's instruction again. They got it wrong. Surely he got stuck in the line. Let's take a defender out. 
Well, if the defence knows what they're doing, they can draw a penalty most time. As soon as you run that... Oh, he just takes him out, mate. ..that run into the line, and when he doesn't get the ball, all you've got to do is run into him and fall down. I'm watching these two, Jared and Victor, they've been stalking the sideline the whole time. Have a look at them. You reckon they want to get on? They look pretty keen, Brad, especially the big dog. Oh, yeah, the big dog's barking on the sideline. I'm interested to see if their tactics change when they go on. It's like the Roosters have done everything to avoid any sort of collision through the middle of the field and try to go around the Dragons. Maybe they're waiting for the big dog to get on to straighten them up. Oh, yeah. You don't run sideways, the big dog. Tedesco, nice, front. good tackle. But again, oh, look at this. They're going to be shoved. No, he got the ball back. Manu. And quickly away to Tedesco, the skipper! Tedesco through the middle of them! He's got four dragons around him, Tedesco pulled down just short. That was almost try 99. Six again. This might be the one for the Roosters, Walker. Zabellum with a tackle around the legs. Ravalawa came in to help too. Beryls. And here he dummies, goes himself, desperate defence again, McCulloch. Beryls and Collins came rampaging onto that, but they were waiting for him. Only the third, though, courtesy of that set restart. Beryls, Beryls, rolling, trying, straining. Tackle four, tackle four, held oh, up. Josh McGuire, two big tackles in a row. One was on Lindsay Collins. We see Sam Walker twisted his ankle that time on Verrills. He was down below. Here's where Walker tweaks the ankle. Look at it. Ooh, gets caught underneath. Here's Demand. Kiri and now Tedesco. Another ankle tap tackle. Van Hunt that time. If they can get out of this, the Dragons, it'll be a massive defensive effort on this set. A kick across the ground. Kiri's got Momorowski and Tubo out there. They Ravalau has caught it. Great defence. Great defence. Scrambling, well organised. They're on. Oh, here he goes. Here goes the, the travelator again. Oh, now Jack Bird. That's an excellent run from Bird. She's picked up 12 metres there and got them on the front foot. Here goes Sewer. Well, it was a relieving win for the Dragons against Newcastle last week. It, it's clearly put a bit of belief in the camp because they've been very good for the first bit of the game here. As we said last week, they play a game that annoys the Roosters. Always has. Oh, it's slipped out of Tedesco's hands. Do you think that's frustration there, Gus? 100%. The, the, the Dragons have always niggled the Roosters because they defend a certain way that doesn't suit the Roosters and they attack another way that the Roosters don't like either. So everything that the Roosters don't like, the Dragons do. And it's been that way for a long time. How do they defend, Gus? What do they do? How do they get under their skin? The Dragons? Yeah. They, like I said, they stand shoulder to shoulder. They want you to go around them. When you go around them, they toss you over the sideline. And yeah. You think you've got space, but you haven't. You saw that they nearly went over three times by attacking the post there. Tedesco coming back from sideline to post went straight through them. That's what you need to do. You just stretch them a little bit and then come back through them on the inside. But the Roosters at the moment don't look as though they're going to want to do that. They're to the wide open spaces every time. Moses Sully. Roosters 20. Now Aaron Woods gets a, an Anzac Day appearance in Dragons colours in the twilight of his career. He would never have imagined this opportunity would come his way. Javelin out the back now and Ben Hunt. Walker raced out of the defensive line. They're only uh, eight metres short again here, the Red V. The ball goes to Javelin and then Woods. A metre out from the line. Keary secured the ball. McCullough back for Javelin and then Hunt and Sewer. Fight any trick shots at them just yet, but they're down inside the 10. McCulloch away, Javelin and Hunt, a one bouncer. Surely with an excellent pickup. Pick oh, he bobbled it. He bobbled it into a rooster. 
And they just got Shot away from on. their plan there, the Dragons. They were doing it nicely. Scrum line to scrum line, punching into the middle, punching to the edge, looking to come out the other side. And the minute they spread it, Surly's come up with a bobble. Manu all over him. Love that sight. The whole ground used to be little green grandstands like that with a big green hill and an old fashioned scoreboard. Surprising reading. No, oh, there's oh. injury here. I think it's Jack Bird. Oh, it's another mistake. Now, Jack Bird has, has, has had a history of knee injuries. And he's up. Right. He's trying to get away from it, Jack Bird. He wants yep. to walk it off. Ash coming up to tackle one on He's got a captain's ruling. challenge here, so we'll have a bit of time. He doesn't look happy. So who is this? Daniel Tupo has bobbled the ball in the play the ball. Jaden Sewer oh. is all over him. I'm on bird watch here and it's a uh, they're doing the ligament test. Jaden Sewer does not move his left foot. The hand of Daniel Tupu comes into contact with the knee, which forces him to lose the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. Yeah, loose grip. But Jack Bird was really worried. He's had a history of knee injury. He knows what it feels like. And it was kind of like when he got hurt, he didn't want to believe it. You can see him screaming. He stays down. He says, he grabs his ankle, grabs his ankle there. Now his knee. Whether the, the pain went down his leg, Gee, I hope this isn't me again. He's up. No, he's up. He's up. He's a tough boy. Well, that's what I say. It can scare you, and then you, you've got to check. It's going to say he's a tough rooster. He's, he's a tough dragon. Yeah, but all men are sooks. You jam your finger in the door, you think it's got to be amputated. You've got a cold, you think you're going to die. Men are like that. First thing you think is the worst, and you realise it's not so bad. Oh. Are you looking in the mirror? Thanks, Dr. Psychology. Oh, I'm just telling you, that's what oh, men do. Oh, Ask any woman. Oh, the man flu is a deadly oh my goodness. Here goes uh, Suli now. See if they can score another one here. The Roosters might really get shocked a lot. Gabellin. Been through a heap of work early on here. Before the Blues lock forward. Five metres out. They scored through the middle on the first occasion. What are they thinking tactically here? Laurie. Gets up and plays it, picks a couple of extra metres for his trouble. Bird away now, Sua. He's right at uh, Sam Walker there, but the young number six stood up to him. Jack Bird over to Ben Hunt. Shows it out the back now, and Suli off of Moses in by pass. He left Manu behind, but couldn't stay on his feet. Last tackle. M by in the first receiver, and Hunt. A high ball, Lomax, we know how good he is in the air. They fly, this will be another Dragons try to sewer. So it went back off Momorowski. There was no Dragons touch. They're going to lead 10-0. Momorowski does a, the high one, gets his hands way above his head. Tries to make the grab himself. by Suzu MUX replay right on the money from Ben Hunt. Momorowski takes it upon himself to leap. Through the hands it goes. Picked up by Sewer. And the Dragons are in again. They'll lead by 12. Bradley Fittler. Well, the Roosters' first concern and only concern looked like Zach Lomax. If you have a look at the blue jerseys, they're all just standing around watching as Momorowski goes above the pack and gets a fumble. Jade Sewer does a great job just sniffing around. He was the only one moving. Everyone else was just standing there watching. I was waiting for Tupu to appear. The ball goes up, and I thought, no, you don't kick high to that side. That's Tupu's side. But Tupu just stands back and waits. Well, in the old days, if a bomb went up like that, you'd have people behind the intended ball catcher. So if the ball fell off the back, you'd be there. To... But no one does it anymore. Everyone wants to get in front of the runners and escort the runners so they don't get to him. But if he fumbles it backwards, there was no one there. The only one there was Sewer. Geez, the mascot was close to the dead ball line. Did you see how close the dragon was? Very excited. 
Whoops. Oh, no. What? That usually means trouble. What? Just looking for a possible knock on off Zach Lomax. I think they've seen us. We've cleared all aspects of play leading up to this. The Dragons kick chaser onside. We're looking for Just a looking sneak. to see whether Zach Lomax knocks the ball on. There's Schnicko. Oh, he might have got a finger on it too. Are you sure it's gone forward? You need, has? you need CSI to check for fingerprints. His hand goes up in the middle. I don't think he gets a hand on it. I don't even think you can say that's gone forward. Based on the angles available, we are supporting the on-field decision of play on backwards off the roosters. Oh. Oh, good. Jaden Sua gains possession. And grounds the ball. We have a decision. So the bunker wanted to check it, then the bunker cleared it. Bradley Fittler. It was interesting watching the Dragons play. They had all gone back for the restart for the kickoff. Then they saw the bunker come up. <laughs> and then they all come walking back down. <laughs> then they saw the try. And they all started walking back up. They're in position now. Just getting their steps in. Well, they're all over the Roosters. And I said it during the week, Matt. The Dragons bug the Roosters. Well, they're bugging them big time here because it's 12 nil. Outsiders, as far as the bookies go, but it doesn't matter on Anzac Day. It's all about emotion and who handles it the best. And at 12 0, it's the Red V making all the running here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Tarek Sims hasn't seen much pretty early. Jaden Sewer has. He's done a terrific job since coming to the club. Now Aaron Woods. They lost Josh Kerr to injury during the week, so Woods uh, recalled to the 17. And here's McGuire playing left second row. Tackled by Keary. Rana went to assist. Keary chasing hard out of market, but Hunt gets a kick away. Bounces up Kylie and Daniel Tupo, who's got a prolific try scoring record against the Dragons. 10 tries in 13 games and has won 12 of 13 career games against them. Well, the Heat's now really on Keary and Tedesco. They're the senior playmakers. They need to straighten this Roosters team up. It wasn't the original plan before the game. It needs to be from now on. An incursion by Maria Hargreaves into the Dragons' half. Moses Suri, uh, sorry, this is Sur up there with a big tackle on Tupanua. Bradley's out there as well now. Finesse with his passing there. It was head down and run hard. Inside the 30. Kiri to the air. And a chase here. One on one all. Tedesco with a jump on it. Dragons first into Dragons James. First. Yeah. Dragons first, then into James. And by into Tedesco. He did well there, Tedesco. He hustled. I think he kept himself on side. Keep his eyes on the ball. Big chance now. Roosters got five players out to the left. And two to the right. They can't have that many. We have to put someone back in. Against three defenders. Okay, I'll put their guys. four defenders now. Yep. Shot clock off. Moses. You play to try to free up Break. Tupo. Oh, Walker. <laughs> right into a big one. Oh, Sewers had a wonderful start to this game. 
fleet-footed front rower, Siwa Taukeaho. Stopped by Blake Laurie within nine metres of the line. Sam Berrells, Radley, out to Walker. Again, they try and strip them out wide, but there's just nowhere through. It's a mirage. It's a bubbler in the desert. There's nothing there. Played by Radley, they come left again. Walker, Walker takes on the big man. Stopped by uh, Jaden Sewer, then Beryls. Changeover. He's had a couple of dashes from Dummy Hart, but the Dragons have pinched him each time, and once again, they're going on defence very good. Andrew, they look out of ideas to me. Mm. Uh, their attack has been pretty clunky all year. Don't fork. The Roosters. They miss, they miss Victor starting the game. He, he straightens them up. Yeah, their attack, it's been clunky all year. And look, there's some play, key players coming back from long-term injuries and new combinations. Just on the Dragons' defence, they, they have conceded, on average, 27 points per game to start the season. You would not know it's the same team the way they've tackled. Matt Fine, another one of those Jared! players experiencing Anzac Day for the first time. It's amazing what a win can do from confidence, and it's even more amazing what confidence can do for your team. Confidence is a massive factor. Dragons on a long losing stretch. Got a win last Bird, week. Thought about a kick, fires it away to Lomax, who's in space here. Lomax, he's got Tubo in front of him, he goes back on the inside, it was touched by a rooster, and then it was knocked on by a dragon. Great footy, great scramble, running the ball in the last play of the Dragons. That was great footy. Stand oh. Lomax throws it inside, gets a hand off Walker, oh, and a great tackle. Who was that Tedesco? Here's Manu. They're trying to spread it to go forward here because the Dragons have just been rushing up in numbers and smashing them. Again, Crichton on the receiving end of a big, strong tackle. That was Joseph Sawali. He made that tackle then from Jack Bird. Great cover. Came from the right wing. Kiri, he's seen enough on tackle four. Reefs it down where Mbye is waiting. Oh, he fallen over on the cricket pitch slit too, uh, Luke Keary. His first Anzac Day game since 2018. There's so much football over the last few years. Now Fine. Maria Hargreaves in there and uh, Baker's on the ground as well. Yes, Brad? Yeah, well, Jack Bird, after that contact from Joseph Sawali, hasn't moved his right arm. It is just dangling by his side. Tauto and Moan is back on his feet. It might be too long before the young fella's out there playing his first Anzac Day game. All right, keep an eye on that for us, Brad. Thanks. Here's Maguire all the same. They haven't stopped Josh Maguire. Well, they pulled off him to try and get off a one-on-one -on -one strip. And he ran away from them. Ben Hunt. Cross now to Bird. He sends it away to, to Sewer. Who puts a palm there. Oh. That's, it. Yeah, that's not what they needed right there. They, look, honestly, they've got the Roosters on toast. Roosters are clueless. Right at the moment, they don't have any solution to this in attack or defence. Big half time coming up for them. Ideally, they'd like to get a strike before the half time break. What would you change, Gus? Your Trent Robinson, what would the message be? Well, it's nearly the opposite to what they're doing. I'd look to make yardage down the edges no, and attack the middle. The I reckon it's Jack Bird's done here. In and around the dummy half. Sorry, Gus, he's taking the tape off his wrist now. He, the arms are dangling. I reckon he's done. Show wide, play short. Show outside, play inside. Double dummy. Nice ball! Up the oh, oh, forward, really? 
Oh, that was marginal. But that's exactly the play I'm talking Mark about. Show long, the play short. The side of the 40. Show them something out wide and then hit the hole. Oh, there's nothing wrong. I don't there. think that's full. No. no chance. Out of work. his hands. That's gone backwards. He goes backwards out of his hands. Beautiful. If you watch his hands. Don't watch Radley where he gets the ball. If you watch the hands of Fletcher Baker, he gets his hands out in front and the hands go backwards. Brad Fitler. Well, what didn't help was Victor actually caught it behind him. Yeah. Victor knew he had to be nearly in front of the ball to get through the space and knew he was going to have to catch the ball behind, which he did, which makes it look like a forward pass. Well, it all happened too easy for the referee, but that was a beautiful ball. And that's, that's what I'm talking about, Andrew. Fame long, play short, dig through them. And even if you're tackled there, you get a legs tackle, quick play the ball, out of dummy half, go again. Soldering on Jack Bird. Dragons score here. They go a long way towards winning this. And Lomax is all tangled up underneath. And Momorowski's tackle. Sims. Might be his last Anzac Day game. Off to Melbourne next year, you'd say it would be. It is age 32. One of the older players in the game. One of three Dragons at 32 years of age. Now they can take a penalty shot and go 14-0 here. He's had a big opening half, Ben Hunt. Some of his passing, on, his Blake. kicking. The early kicks in the first five, ten minutes. He got the Roosters out of the rhythm. So Lomax to take the kick. Lovely conditions for Anzac Day. You can see the SCG. I'd say it's two thirds full. Wonderful sight. The only thing I will say, the tradition tells us that it doesn't go all one way for long. Usually the other team has something to say about it. At the moment, I feel no sense. I feel no sense of a dangerous comeback from the Roosters. But that's not to say that half time won't change that. But they're going to be chasing 14 and 15 to win. That's if the Dragons don't score again. upon us and the Dragons with a wonderful start here 14 points to nil Stand down. Victor Radley he went in hard he's holding his shoulder there he had a little wobble too and Blake Laurie charged at him and Victor being Victor he tried to snap him in half big big contact whether it's a burner here it is here big, big contact He's a big boy. Well, he he gets right. wobbled here too, Victor. He didn't get hit in the head. There was no contact with the head. He's just... Blake Laurie's just a big, thick man. It's like, it's like tackling the 9-8-2 to Covelli. Oh, don't grab him as well. Time on. Half. And Suali with, I reckon, his first touch his of the first football. touch. Yep. Hey, that great tackle. Oh, big long pass by Walker to Momorowski. They got so many individual tackle freaks to the Roosters, even though they don't look Independent like. Independent doctor, guys. 
Is it Radley? Victor. Yeah. Victor, independent doctor, mate. That pass there from Sam Walker. I don't think he got hit in the head, Victor. Yeah, look at Victor. That's what he's saying. He's not happy. <laughs> it stunned him on the shoulder. I don't think he got hit in the head. On the, or just, yeah. What bus was it? Oh, I can't remember. I haven't lived at Clavelli for years. It was the nine something. Oh, good catch. Tedesco. Tedesco now with a three on two. Can't slip away from Moses Sorley. Six more. Ah, there you go. Now what? 45 seconds. Can the Roosters find. Oh, they nearly gave an intercept away. Oh, how good has Jaden Sewer been? Another, another six to go. What was that for? Offside. Jaden Sewer didn't care, they fall down in front. They'll give away as many penalties as they can in the last 30 seconds. Well, they're not going to get off him in a hurry either here, are they? Gee, Jaden Sewer. You yeah, reckon he's enjoying the big stage. Fletcher Baker now. One-on-one uh, -on -one with Bird, slipped it away to Walker. Here's Momorowski. He's got Tupo there, he dropped the ball. And the Dragons are going to go to half-time with a very commanding lead on Anzac Day. They certainly are. Look, it's a big honour and a big thrill to play on such an occasion as this. But sometimes you can worry too much about the occasion and not enough about the football. That's what the Roosters have done today. They need to get it right. 14-0, Dragons over the Roosters. Just hitting it up a couple and throwing the ball out wide because they think their space out there is not going to cut it. They've only completed 15 to 23, which is a low completion rate for the Roosters. Time in. Lomax commences the second half on Anzac Day. They've waited four years for an Anzac Day victory. The Dragons, can they get it this afternoon? Round seven of the NRL Telstra Premiership. And we are honouring those servicemen and women who have defended our values and freedoms. We thank all of those who have served and continue to serve. Take no more! Uh, Victor's back. Now Satili Tupanua, they've got to run on here. This is a really good start. A power set for the Roosters after the break, and Kiri can hoist one into the air. Embiid's got to make ground, Hunt knocks it back. Oh, and they've kept the ball. Great hustle, Ben Hunt. He went up for the ball and dropped it, and then dived backwards and got it. He's having a game. He's going for the last one. Gives everything, doesn't he? Once he goes up for the ball, he goes back. Oh, and then desperation. There was three jerseys there, the Roosters jersey. Ben Hunt just wanted it more. Woods now, an offload. It bounces up favourably for McCulloch, who fires the ball out now. For Jaden Sewer has been a handful with and without ball today. Now uh, there's Moses Suley with an issue early in the second half as Hunt kicks down the right. Hung up there for a while. Tedesco takes it. White jumpers all around him. He broke the first tackle. Uh, now Talatawa moans on the ground too here. I, I, oh, Tupo nearly through. Woods held on. It's gone back. And now it's an attacking chance of the Dragons through Maguire. Well, it was a great run and then a really low risk pass. A desperation pass. That was a scoreboard pass. Now, uh, I might just give to Brad, actually. Um, I don't think Jack Bird's out there, Freddie. I think Talatawa Moan's gone on the ground. Yeah, that's right. I'm just trying to look on the sideline. He's not on the sideline either. He'd be in there getting looked to by the, the medical. Yeah. Well, as he walked off the field, he said, I thought I broke my leg and I thought I broke my arm, but I'm OK. Yeah, so maybe he wasn't. Here's Lomax. Oh, Lomax. Close to the touchline. Ball spews out the back. Picked up by Sewer. Oh, he stands up. Radley. Sewer, 10 metres short. Oh, 
there's an injury here to Jared oh. Warrior Hargreaves. I think Sewers. They're both in. Oh, okay. Hip drop. That was a call from the ground. No, it's not a hip no. drop. No, it's just got caught having a tackle. All right, uh, the medical staff are out there. It's 14 0. The Dragons over the Roosters. That's a worry looking Jaden Sewer. Oh, no. he's got nothing on that leg. Oh, this is this is shocking luck for him. He has been dynamic. Oh, look at it. Ah, yuck. That's yeah, just bad luck. Just bad luck. Oh, that might be a broken leg. That's why they earn their money. I'm wondering uh, how how big an impact his absence is going to have here because he's been in everything, hasn't he? Well, the Dragons have got to stay positive. You know, if 14 nil is hard to run down, 20 or 26 will not be nearly impossible. So they've got to keep at them. Oh, they were disorganised there. And the Roosters have got the ball back. Daniel Tupo. Rule himself with the defensive line. Verrills sets off down the left hand short side and slips over. He's about to hit top gear then, too. Here's Baker. Lovely pass that one in the first half that was called forward. Beautiful soft hands for a very big man. Maria Hargreaves now. Marcus. Kiri up, up again. Rabalawa. Uh oh. Rabalawa. Oh, he took it well on the chest and he attacked the ball. Fearless. Very confident. You don't get that nervous sensation when the high ball's heading towards Michaeli Rabalawa, Gus? Both captains, both coaches get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> So his first few steps, he's like, oh, where's this going? Well done. And then Maguire has been strong too. He has been strong. Rare day out on the, on the edge and only plays in the middle. Now Woods. He had no options. Oh, look at that late off line. Another one, two in a row for him. Now DeBellin can run. Goes up inside the 30. What's Hunt thinking here? He's on the right of the ruck. He's going to go to Talatau and Mo. They're going to go through the hands. Lomax bumped off a defender. Wants to get it off right away. He does that. Laurie with it. Oh, no. Look out. Look out. Where's Tedesco? There he is. He's always there when there's a loose one. Tedesco's almost through. He's into the backfield. He's up against Rabalawa. He got the ball away to Manu. He wanted Teddy again there, Joey Manu. Instead, he keeps possession of it, but they are in real strife here, the Dragons. Ben Hunt. Sam Walker. There's blue jerseys everywhere. Satili Tupanua gets the first try of the second half for the Roosters. And it's game on Anzac Day. Beautiful pass. Great footy. But the Dragons... They're not playing catch-up. They've lost their head a little bit. Here's Tedesco. Izuzu MUX replay. He gets in the clear. Dummy surges through. Loses his strides but keeps going. And then the ball come left. Sam Walker throws it early. And then watch Victor Radley. Victor Radley the way he straightens the attack and plays short. Beautiful pass. Great ball playing by Radley. This will show it perfectly. Just the way he straightens the attack and holds the defence up. Great ball play. Brad Fittler. 
Yeah, well, Kiri came from the right to the left. He knew which direction it had to go, but he had to make sure that he was going to get the ball off the dummy half on the left-hand side. He was screaming at the dummy half, and he just automatically shifted it straight onto Sam Walker. And from there, it was just a little bit of sick play, slick play between him and Victor. It was nice how he didn't panic Victor. Just went to the line. He had the numbers. Look at that. Just dummy in, ball out in front. And Satili Tupanui has been running those lines all year. But it was good to see a little bit of leadership there. Luke Keary, he knew where it had to go. And he was a man that knew. There we go. Well, I want everyone to go down the park tonight. Put your shorts down around your buttocks and try to sprint down the road and see how you go. Mate, the wiring sign, there's no tan up. lines there. That was, that was the <laughs> challenge for James Tedesco, to pull his pants down around his buttocks <laughs> and sprint into the night. The police going to be busy. Joey's Here's done it. Walker. Great kick. Yes, the Roosters with the hit back. 14-6. Now, Danica, some breaking news for us. Yes, I just had a word to the Dragons bench. Unfortunately for them, Jack Bird will not be back tonight. Uh, they said that he's suffered a cork to his elbow, but they'll be sending him for x-rays tomorrow. All right, thanks, Danica. There's, oh, he's lost the ball here. And the Dragons high-fiving. And they've got no challenges left. Jared Where do you want it? appealing to the referee. That's not the response you want. You just got on the scoreboard. The big dog goes forward. They meet him with heavy collision. And he comes up with a bad play the ball. Dragons with a chance to strike back immediately. This, this could be a savage blow to the Roosters. They've made up six on the half-time deficit. But if they were to give them back straight away, that might be a psychological blow too far. Out it comes, McCulloch, Tamatau, Amone. He's worried Young him. Gun. He's worried him with his footwork, man. Really sharp on his feet. I know it's going away back, Gavin. The charity shield game against the big uh, South Sydney pack. He was stepping all around them. Laurie. Nine metres short. McCulloch plays right. Ben Hunts to a charging Tarek Sims. Excellent defence. Maria Hargreaves. Fletcher Baker. DeBellin. Hunt takes on the defence himself. Why not? He's done everything else today. Now DeBellin ducks under a high one. Crichton gets away with it. Tackle five called. Moses Embi is going to be the kicker. No, they're not going to kick. They'll go to Suley instead. Yeah, the Dragons the Dragons rarely kick it on tackle five. They just like you to play out of your own end. Very conservative. That was an ultra-conservative set of six on the attack. They didn't ask too many questions at all. Oh, that'll get them out of trouble. It's Mose, uh, Joseph Suwali. And... A couple of hit-ups Suwali has done. He hasn't had much ball. But he's come out the other side. Just have a look at the power. He's seven foot one. You've got to you've got to work hard to hit him high. Yeah, he's looked like he's he's put some muscle on in the off season. And your baby. What a long way to go. Gonna be some sort of unit when he's finished. Ben Hunt again. Now Manu in his roving roll. It's a nice ball out the back too, and a long pass from Fury finds Bobarovsky. A few are slipping over on that side of the ground. 
And mainly over that eastern side. Fletcher Baker with room. Tedesco backing up. Wanted to get up and go again, but Suli wouldn't let him. And here's Kiri with a chip in behind them. Suwali. Oh, good take from Matt Finay. That's a bad kick. That's a bad kick. That's just giving up seven tackles and 20 metres for nothing. Oh. You can be a little bit fooled when you come to the cricket ground thinking it's a hard cricket pitch. I'll just wear my moulded soles. But around the outside, the turf can be quite lush and quite slippery. I think that's the, the kind of caught in between these players. Something to accommodate the pitch, but it's not suited for the edges. Pretty cool, the markers offside there. That's why McCullough ran, but no six again. And Josh Maguire heading up plenty of yardage. Sure, oh, his buttocks are coming out there too, Gus. They don't do up the drawstring. He's a moan. Didn't give it to Sims. Took the tackle instead, just over the halfway. Ben Hunt bombs away. Two by the man. He catch that one handed if he wanted to. And the lights have taken effect. Pretty quickly. Is there any dew on the surface, Bradley? There is now. The breeze seems to have dropped. I'm sure everyone, every one of the 35,273 will be appreciating the weather at the moment. There's been no rain all day. It's been beautiful. 35,000. What a great crowd. Look here, they're going backwards. Morovsky pulled the ball to walk up. And now Tedesco, it was line ball. The Dragons fans thought it was forward. The referee was in a good position there, however. Play to Tedesco and Beryls for a Kiri eye kick, which is a particularly shallow one. The Roosters are allowed to take the catch and the Dragons are going to wrap up the football. Changeover. That was a strange kick. It was a terrible kick. The last two fifth tackle options have been awful. Look at the Dragons bunched behind the play of the ball here. Hands on hips, hands on knees, doubled over. You can throw a doily over them. Look at that. They're only running one at a time. The Roosters should be aiming up here, shoulder to shoulder, and just picking them up. Good quick play the ball there, Lomax. And Laurie. Not quite at the 30 when he was tackled by Victor Radley. The ball goes to Hunt and Maguire. Back on the inside, he, he beat Baker, who tried to whack him, but forgot to stop him. Yeah, the key here, even when you're in front, you still have to move the ball. You can't just go one out and try to protect that lead. You need to move the ball to try to tie the opposition out a little bit. Radley's got a hand on it, a charge down, it's knocked on, it'll be offside. Oh, well, he's let it to go on, an accidental offside was the call, Ravalawa, McKayley Ravalawa! Yeah. They want 10 minutes in the bin, the Dragons players. It might be more than that. This might be Ash, more than that. Ash, I don't believe it's as bad as it looks, but report. But I don't believe it's as bad as it looks. It looks spectacular. Ooh. Daniel! He's hitting him in the forehead. Well, he's going way up over the top. He might be in the bin. Well, it might be a send-off. He'll be in the bin, I'd imagine. Um, he the week? On report, yes. On report, oh. Yes. Might be more dangerous for Daniel Tupo. I reckon McKayley would have a pretty hard head. <laughs> that bounced that. up pretty quick. Well, there'll be some people that have been sent off in their career will be thinking, what the hell? Well, anyone that's been sinned in for a high tackle this year will be saying precisely that. Well, maybe not exactly that. But no Simbit. No, no Simbit. It's on report. Develop for Laurie. Nearly got into that little hole there outside of Errols. Look where the Dragons are. Prime real estate. Develop. Oh, good shot. Crichton and Rhea Hargreaves picked him off. Ben Hunt for Embi to Suli now. 
tackles, exhausted on this set. Radley up there in defence. The ball sent wide. Hunt to Aaron Woods, not much doing there, although he has been offloading and he's got the arm free there. He decides against it. Surely they look for an attacking kick here. Hunt fires it out the back to Lomax. Tries some footwork, but again they decide against the kick. Yeah, no kick on tackle five. Hand it over to them and say, work it out your own end. Very paranoid about giving away seven tackles in 20 metres. In a game like this, that just might be the tonic. You never know, because the Roosters have made Not mistakes. Smiley, the other one. Lovely ball at the back there to Verrills. They've been high scoring games recently, these, these fixtures. 62 points in round 23 last year. 44 on Anzac Day last year as Tupanua puts one down. In the two games the year prior, 40 and 38 points. This one, more of a low-scoring affair. Some of his touches on. today, here's the error. Well, that's a terrible pass. This leads him into the line. This is where a young halfback, Sam Walker, has to realise that if the pass isn't on, you've got to wear the bruise. This young man, Sawali, some of his touches and runs today, I don't think... For much longer, he'll be on the wing. I, I think he'll be pushed in the centres very, very soon. Every time he runs the ball, he, he's all power. So just over the back there, you see the new Sydney Football Stadium, which isn't far away. Done a wonderful job. It looks looks magnificent from the outside. Game on the knife edge here. Oh, yeah. Next score is really important. That penalty goal might be a defining moment. Eight points, the margin. So Woods playing it here. And Talatau Amon takes them on. He likes to run, doesn't he, Joey? He's, he's a yep. running fly, though. Yep. Good footwork, speed. Oh. Tackle four. They're brewing to something here, the Dragons. And the halfbacks been in command of everything today. Ben Hunt, another tremendous performance. He's flung to the ground by Victor Radley, 10 metres out from the line. Moses in by, a little kick towards the end goal. Oh, it went back, said the ref. Wow. Oh, big, big call, that. You can tell what the Dragons fans think about it. Listen to the chorus of boos around the SCG. Oh, well, that's just a dead set knock on. In, in, in an age where everything is a knock on. That's a knock on. It's not even marginal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Lord's standing alongside. So they're, they're just out of sorts, aren't they? Still 22 minutes to go. They can find it. I'm trying to play, Gus. The dominant ball player is Sam Walker. Oh, look at this kick. Oh, Fine, he's in trouble. He goes to ground. He's less than 30 centimetres in from the sideline. Now, I'm watching the way they attack. And the quality ball is going to Sam Walker. Now, Trent Robinson has put Luke Keary in the seven, which is a sign that you're our main ball player, you're our main playmaker, but... I'm watching all the quality ball. I'd, I'd love to know the touches each player has had. I, I think Sam Walker would be near double the touches he's had than Luke Keary. There is plenty of twists left in this. Anzac Day 2020 from the SCG. On the home of Rugby League. Where else would you want to be? Suwali. There's the big boy. Oh, he ducked in time to miss Jack DeBellin. Now Tedesco. Can the skipper pull out a bit of magic? Some individual brilliance. It might be the difference. Brad Fittler. Yeah, we have 20 minutes to go. The Dragons only have two interchanges left. Jack Laurie just came off and the Roosters have three. A break by Manu now at the centre of the field. He didn't pass it to Teddy, he was there waiting for it. 
Here goes Kiri now. They're very disorganised out wide. It goes to Tupanua. A kick taken by Ramalawa, and the referee doesn't blow a penalty. They were all offside, the Dragons. Wait. None of them retreated. Wait. Here come some tough runs now. Maguire takes the first one. Who's batter up this time? Zach Lomax. Oh, he's got nowhere. He's, he's lost ground. He's got to find touch, Ben Hunt. His team needs a rest. Francis Molo. Three tackles down. They haven't reached their own ten. And Suli, yeah, he picks up a handful of metres. Last tackle. How's this? Good luck, Ben. Oh, he nearly had the kick charged down, actually. He gets it to fly over the halfway, but have a look at this. The Roosters will play the ball 35 out from the Dragons line. Well, what have they got? What have they learned? Oh, swap. Lovely one. Tremendous. Should be in really good position. Takiaho back on the ground. Woods. Just as good. And uh, Molo there, but that's a wonderful run by Takiaho. They're five metres out. They've scored the first try after half time as the second coming for the Roosters. Manu tried to truck, uh, duck under the defence. Suli got him. Through Kiri to Walker. And Tedesco now. Doesn't like what he's. Oh, he ducked under them. They all missed him. Tedesco! A metre shot. Radley. Oh, what was that? Another one says the referee and went backwards. And now it's taking a deviation to the in goal. That's gone over the net ball line. Off a dragon's leg. Goal line dropout. Yeah, I still think they're trying to go wide too much. Shot clock and look on. at the dragons. Showing real signs of fatigue behind the line. The body language isn't good. Watch this. Show, go, dig in, duck under, come out the other side. That's that's the recipe. Then this, you just need inside support. Oh, there's the deflection. <laughs> Show and go, short passes. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, at that point Brad alerted us to the interchanges. That's bowled by Anthony Griffin. He's left two off his sleeve and we've got just under 18 minutes to go. Oh, Lomax! Lomax! He's done unbelievably! That is spectacular from Zach Lomax. That might be a game-winning moment. Well, that's a big moment. He was all in there. Put all the chips out. Oh. If he misses, it's try time. What about the catch on the rebound? But again, trying to go long. They're trying to go long. Get up, squad! And Jack DeBellin runs back towards the marker. It was Verrills. And Collins who has had a breather. He secures him in the tackle on the 40 metre line. Ben Hunt. Drop punt style, kick, there's a few dragons after it. Tedesco takes it. And he's caught inside the 20. Well, they won't get too many more possession sequences like that. The Roosters. And Tupo now, powerful run. Dragons really defending grimly. Drew Hutchison's on the ground. Be the tallest dummy half we've seen, if not ever, than in many, many years. Moses and bike. You can feel the tension out there. You really can. It's on a knife. Oh, the crowd's even gone quiet. 
Two vastly experienced coaches. They'd be feeling it up there too. He's a run, Rabalawa. And Hunt. Suli broke out of Manu's tackle and got up to the halfway. Now Talatau Amon, again he runs and he gets through this time. Amon pulled down from a desperate tackle. Lindsay Collins the man. Surly now. Oh, that was the last. They, they had all the running there. And they go to ground with the ball. Yeah, great tackle by Manu. Again running it on tackle five. No thought of a kick. Amon's oh, got great footwork, great balance for a young man. Sliced them open easily, didn't they? Andrew, they were obviously wary of the seven tackle set, but after a play like that, are you looking to attack with a kick? Well, you've got to back yourself as a halfback, but obviously it's it's the plan, and they're sticking to the plan. And look at him, so you can't knock them. Kiri, Lomax out there again with a great tackle. Yes, Brad? Yeah, well, the Roosters have also made their sixth replacement. Drew Hutchison's gone on a hookup for Sam Verrill's. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Brad. That was bizarre. Rally just stopped. Well, there's so much fatigue in the game. Ball's free and nearly broke down. And the oh, referee Benny's screamed out at the on. bunker there and said, who was that off? Was when it a knock-on? When two passes that we're going to knock on Dragons. The referee didn't see it and yelled out at the bunker, who was it off? Was it a knock-on? Okay. Yeah. The Roosters didn't think so because they kicked it. I thought the bunker yeah, could only come in. Now they're going to challenge it. The bunker should only come six. in, come in and, and issues in the goal the area. Decision of a knock on after Drew passes. The referee asked, "Who hit it? Was it a knock on?" And he got a response from somewhere. The ball's passed backwards from Drew Hutchinson. It does not come off the hands of Talatai Amone. It is play on at this stage. The challenge will be successful. Well, Sam Walker knew it hadn't. The ball is then kicked. Yep, keep rolling. Well, he didn't allow play to come. Raises him by against yeah. possession, well, and then the play. whistle is blown. He stopped play. Yeah, mutual infringement with the Dragons to play the ball for a zero tackle. Yeah, but where do challenge play successful. The ball? So, the, the, successful. That's weird. So, I don't successful. know. We'll have to find out You'll where the call ball. came from. But well, if originally the bunker was, was knock on, it video, wasn't. The video successful. ref was brought in originally to stop the howlers, not create the howlers. Yes. Yeah. But that's, that's just stopping the game for no reason. You make a call, you move on. And look, the players know if the ball came at the back and was touched, Sam Walker would have been saying to the referee six to go but he caught it and kicked it straight away mm. all right this will be a really tough set they've had a bit of time to, to get some oxygen back in the lungs here now, don't forget tonight 100 percent footy tuning for a full wrap of anzac round this is an absolute cracker there'll be plenty of uh, analysis and debate about this game Plus, where to now for the Raiders and the Knights? 10.30 uh, tonight on the Wild World of Sports. You can also catch the 100% podcast and all the major podcast platforms. Out to the halfway, you lost the ball. I think you're fine with the Knights. Dane Gagai has picked up an injury in yesterday's loss. Mm. Walking so wounded up there. Where do you want it? So no Jack Bird and uh, no Jaden Sewer for the Dragons, which explains a, a couple of those interchanges as well. But they're down to, to a 15-man rotation. Let's get ready. Tariq, thank you. And they're, they're trying to protect this lead at 14-6. This has lived up to everyone's expectation this game. Satili so Trivanua. Beat Hunt, but the reinforcements are there in the shape of Tarek Sims and George Burgess, who's back on the ground this time. He's the one. 
Joseph Marnie. You need to get him some ball. He's the one who can can create something. Sam Walker, flat pass to Collins. Came sprinting onto it and got stopped by Andrew McCulloch. Hutchison, Baker. Baker, nearly, or he was nearly close enough to stick an arm out. Last tackle, Hutchison. Back to Walker, over to Crichton. They've run out of space. He got a pass back on the inside, though. It's a try. And it is that man, Manu, who didn't put it down the first time. No, he did. That was lovely. Joseph Suwali got the ball back on the inside. And Manu has closed the gap even further. Well, they kept punching holes through them in the middle. On last tackle, they'd gone wide again. I thought they'd mucked it up. But Suwali, for the first time on the ground, has been able to get the ball back inside. A Suzu D-Max replay. They go wide again. They're in no man's land, but Suwali gets the flick back inside. Look, there's no Dragons defence. We've got a contest fitting the occasion now. It's about to be a two-point ball game. Freddie. Yeah, everyone knew who the danger man was. If you looked at the Dragons' defence, they're all sliding towards Joey Manu and Joseph Sawali. If Sam Walker dummies on the inside, he strolls through underneath the goalpost. Joey Manu ends up getting a little flick pass from Joe Sawali after he went into the defence line. But they're all going for Joseph. minutes 44 left and a two-point margin it was 14 nil at half time run. it's now 14 12. the referee just said to his officials the two-point field goal is on too so we're trying to predict what might happen in the game the dragons closed up shop a while ago and the roosters have just ground their way back into it they haven't been brilliant at all but like I said in the first half, these Anzac Day games, they have a way of levelling up and giving us something at the end. It's on again today. Baker. Tackled by Burgess. Takiaho on for Crichton. Has he been quiet or is it? He's had no ball whatsoever. Hutchison now. And they're full of running here after points of the Roosters. Up over the halfway. Ben Hunt made the tackle on Luke Keary. It's Hutchison the kicker. And uh, he kicks uh, out in front of Fe uh, Moses Embai and behind Fine. And the veteran fullback had to rush across and, and took it well. Eight and a bit minutes to go. Oh, Fine runs into the teeth of them. They're surging the roosters. Yeah. Here they come. Sims. Good run. There's a big game run. No, that's an origin run. And Suli, excellent running from Dummy, uh, from Marker there. That was Manu. Grabbed him around the bootlaces. McCulloch for Molo. They managed to scramble their way out near the halfway, which will give Ben Hunt the opportunity to kick long. And high. It's an Esco. <laughs> He's been really limited with his involvement. But they've marked him so closely, as they always do. But the game is here for him to win. Walker, smart. Really smart. They had to hang off or give away a penalty. 
Here's Tedesco now. Seven minutes, 30. The Dragons still ahead for how much longer? Lovely pass, Manu. He got outside his man as he caught it. He beats another one and he gets away from Sealy once, but not twice. Down the short side now. Crichton runs into Fine. Oh, wow. Big tackle. Kiri kicks towards the post. It didn't bounce off. They get back there and cover it up, but the Roosters are finishing at a rate of knots. Yeah, nicely done. Nicely done. And that set of six, they picked away through the middle before they went wide. He's a freak of a player, this fellow Manu. Had no room in which to move. He must be incredibly strong. Yeah, he's flexible. He's strength, balance, fluid. Turn your run! He's got the extender arms. He's got all the all the gifts. I reckon he could turn invisible Sorry. if he wanted to. That was Fino with a big tackle. He's got those superpowers. I love how he's able to get on the outside of his man before he catches the ball. That's so brilliant at that. Can the Roosters hit the lead? The Dragons are trying to hang on. They want it to finish 14-12. They don't want to be chasing points. Great defence. Yeah. Brilliant oh. tackle. Zach Lomax. You watch Zach Lomax. He defends two players here. He holds his nerve. Sam. But they've gone wide again, Andrew, for no reason. Momentum never stops Especially and with he's that trying to surrender. On the surface. Play the ball. The Dragons just the sucked ball. them in all day. Watch this. I'll give them space on the outside. You go round us. Go round us. Go round us. See how good. Now you're on your own. Now come here, young man. Get out on the old hill. Watch Lomax. Yeah. Grabs him Let's and then holds that. him up. And then they just ragdoll him over the sideline. Yeah. Threw him up on the old hill. Down to five and a half minutes. That penalty goal is crucial. Oh, oh look at this now. The Dragons need an energizer. Sims on the receiving end of the rough treatment. Now Laurie. Light blue rooster jumpers everywhere. How are they going to get themselves out of this one? Jack DeBellin only makes three metres. Francis Molo is trying to get wound up to take one. De Bellin slow to play it. Ben Hunt. And out to Maguire. Oh, it's almost like they knew that was on. He got dumped into the ground. Sam. And Sam Walker. Molo. And Hunt. Oh, he's in awful trouble here. He just managed to get a kick away. But again, very shallow. And have a look at this. Tedesco racing back. Into the Dragons' half. Four and a half to go. Gee, the two-point field goal doesn't sound as silly now. No, I need to try. <laughs> It'd be one heck of a way to take us to Golden Point. The Dragons desperate to hang on. Here's Walker. They're opening up everywhere. Walker tackles. We saw Moses Embo in the line, and he dummied the kick. Eight metres out, Manu's dropped one. And Maguire's got it. Now, how can the Dragons find a passage up the other end? Well, they need their outside backs. Here's one. Oh, oh Rabalawa crunched. You've got to go in and help their big men. I don't know that the dummy half knew Manu was coming there. I think he went to pass long and Manu intercepted it. Oh, they're picking them off with this one out stuff. No one's got the energy to raise an effort here. Moses Suley's going to try to. Ben Hunt's going to go himself. How is that for a captain's run? Now Suley. And there's a bit of respite at least. They might be able to get a kick right down near the Roosters' goal line here. Laurie with his second run of the set. Yeah, that was a good set. That was a good set. And Hunt. Oh, is it out on the fault? No. It was close. It was heading that way. It bounced inside the sideline. Is that 40-20? It's That's a 40-20. Well, no one told Tupu. It's a 40-20. 40-20. No one told Tupu. The referee was yelling out, That's inside. That's inside. And Tupu has just let it bounce. Oh. He's just inside. Oh. 
He's just his two has got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt. That set of six. It was his run from dummy half. Yeah. And then he stands up and nails a 40-20. Come up the hour. Come up the man. Ben Hunt with a play that might win the Anzac Cup for the Dragons. Here goes Molo. He's looking for a double. Can they score? Can they win it with a try? Here's McCulloch. This has been a brilliant second half. The Bellin's waiting there. He goes back to Hunt. Short pass. Sims trying. Can't get to the line. The Roosters trying to get themselves one last chance by hanging on here. Hunt now for the Bellin. Brighton part of the tackle. Hutchison in there as well. Here's the last. Talatau Amon out the back to the captain and a pass that bounces and Ravalala takes it over the side and it was forward anyway. Yeah, but no kick on the last play. They virtually said to the, the Roosters, you've got to go 100 metres to beat us. This is the last set of six. Wow. The last chance for the Roosters. They've been 78 minutes and come up with two tries. They've got a minute to get their next one. They're going to kick over the top. They, they, they try to keep their width here. Are they going to kick for an outside man? I don't think they've got the energy. Tupanua stops. One minute ten. What a game. Kiri. Away to Radley. Don't ride them off yet. Tedesco. Oh, Ben Hunt again. For a player that's been much maligned in Dragons colours, he has had a whale of a game. Good pass. They've got some numbers out here. Tupanua. Tries to get inside, Lomax keeps the ball alive, it's picked up on the bounce, Walker now over the halfway, Walker to the 30, back on the inside to Tupo, ball over the top, he's Dragons offside, have got it. is he Dragons offside? Have got the ball, I don't think Please. it was touched by Ravaloa. Oh wow. The Dragons Please. are going to win the Anzac Cup. Please. Well they blew that, the Roosters, they had them shot to pieces. Oh, Ravaloa stood there and turned himself into a tackling bag, less than 20 oh. seconds left. I think Tupo would have made it. I don't know why he didn't straighten up and just pin his ears for the line. Make now, the defence come to him. What is this going to mean to St George of the Warra? Lomax doesn't want to play it. Teletau Amon takes it. The game's over and the Dragons have caused the boil over. It's an epic clash on Anzac Day. 35,000 at the SCG have witnessed a classic. The Dragons led 14-0. The Roosters were finishing all over them. Oh, but Ben Hunt, Andrew Johns, what a performance. One of his best. One of his best. In attack, defensively, some of his tackles. What a game.